Hey y'all, it's K Pisces. Guess what today is? It's Pisces season, the best season going today. Cue the applause, guys. Okay, in honor of the best season, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'll make somebody mad saying this shit. I'm going to be um, doing the five questions for $20 and then I'll do a, I'll do the phone readings for half an hour for $35 um, between now and let me see Wednesday and the 19th to Sunday, whatever the day that is. And um, you can cash at me or PayPal me. You can take a screenshot of the the codes here in the video and just use them to pay. After purchase, email me, guys, and we'll schedule. Speak to you soon. Here's your bone reading. Fire signs I have for you. Knight of Wands reversed. The Three of Swords reversed. Princess of Cups. Two of Wands Reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. Now, that in combination with the bones, let me see. I think someone may try to come to you to try to make plans with you and you ain't trying to hear it. Um, there will be a turn down, even though, okay, so you don't feel like you don't necessarily feel malice towards this person. You just know that it's not something that at this time in your life that you want. And I, so I feel you're going to turn this person down. I don't even think you're going to bullshit them. You're going to be like, you know what? I'm cool. I don't want it. Um, it's time to move on. It's over. I don't want to talk about it. There's no reason to talk about it. I don't think that you're going to be a dog and you're going to be shitty. Well, you might be a dog, but... Um, I just think you're going to real plainly tell the person goodbye. All right. So in the quick contacting you, I do hear that they may try to contact you through someone else, or maybe that's what they've been trying to do. And that's been unsuccessful because it's not supposed to happen, but we're going to move right along. Okay. So. Someone doesn't want to be over, but you over it, okay? I think they're more in pain than you are. I think this person has been waiting for you to approach them. And since you haven't, they've really been within themselves really upset because they feel like they're on the outside looking in, which they are. And you've been purposely, purposely keeping yourself away from this person. Because... Just like this here with the Princess of Cups, I kind of feel like what is the reason is, is because you have what you want. Even if you're single and you don't want to deal with anyone, this person that may come back to you or come to you, period, you just ain't feeling it. Like you don't even see yourself being with this person ever again if you were before or at all if you never was with them before. I think if you've been with them, you've been holding back purposely, like I said, you decide that dealing with this person in the past, if they were like a side person, whatever, was a bad choice. And you don't see yourself sneaking out, doing bullshit, you know, lying and stuff because you don't feel like you want, you want to even see this person. You don't even want to see them. You may care for them. But you feel like if you see this person or you talk to them the way they want you to, that you're giving them hope. And I don't think you want to do that because you're happy in a situation you're in with someone or single. I think that this is something too that you won't keep from whoever you're with or you will tell someone like, look, this is what happened and... Blase, blah. I ain't heard that in so long, but I had to say it. Oh my God. And um, you're going to tell them, if you tell them, or you'll make it very clear to them, or you, if they try to come to you through someone else, you'll make it very clear to them. I've made my decision of what I'm going to do. This is not worth the trouble. It's not worth the problems that it can create for me. 
I just really feel this person, whoever it is, is going to be very honest. Like it's some honesty. You don't even feel like you need to hold on to this person. You've let them go. And the fact that you have let them go sends them spinning. But see, what they don't understand is that why would you want to be with somebody you don't want to be with you? Why would you chase and chase and chase after someone who don't want your ass? That's crazy. I mean, yeah, you may love them. You may care for them. But damn, you're going to be a fool for so long and you start looking desperate and shit. Like you about to, you know, like, come on now. Yeah, get your life together. If you're the person that's doing this and you're running behind this fire sign and fire energy, um, you need to get your shit together. I'm sorry. I, I'm keeping it real, okay? You need to get your shit together. Point being is because, like I always say, pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. You can have your little grief that the relationship is over or this person won't talk to you, whatever, and move on with your life. Because why would you stay stuck in a spot when you know somebody don't want you? And, and when they're sharing it with other people, like other people know what you're doing. Other people see what you're doing. And I kind of feel like whoever is turning down this person, if they have someone already or they've chosen someone else that they're going to be with and they're turning down this other person, It'll make the relationship, they will appreciate the person they, they're with more because of this situation. I think they realize that, yeah, I have, I have a chance to go do some fucked up shit, but I don't want to hurt the person I'm with because I love them. I want to be with them. I don't want to be with this other person. So I don't see the point in being bothered with this other person when it's not what I want anyway. So why would I waste my time? with this other person i don't even see them having plans to be bothered with this other person they're not going to go back to them because that's not where their happiness is they realize that that thing that was old or somebody that is new that you don't want is not going to go nowhere and it, and it sends you into an emotional tizzy like emotional roadblock it's like a, the relationship wasn't moving it's not it's just not what you need and you know the situation you're in now or a situation that you're going to be in is cohesive to what you want like it's it'll the person will meld into what you want and i feel like you found your happiness or you will find your happiness but this other person is really like on some crazy shit like and they know they lost the show's over don't be the curtains you know what i'm saying down it's over but they still want to i don't want to say make a fool of themselves but that's what they end up looking like in the end they're making a fool of yourself themselves and i don't even think you're gonna be worried about this shit like you're not even gonna give it a second thought and you will retreat from this person again however the fuck they got in touch with you. You do not want to be bothered. You do not want to be bothered. And you will push this person away until they finally go away. Because I think that you don't have plans for that at all. And you think you want your life to move on and move forward. And this person is back. And it's not back in a good way. This person is back with some bullshit. Going back there is like walking back in a motherfucking tornado. Okay? And I think that... The situation you've been in or you being alone if you're single has taught you the ebb and flows but also the serenity of the peace that the person you with now gives you or the person you're going to be with so i think that's all i have for you fire signs much love to y'all and i'll speak to you soon bye